in the good feeling out the hood Finally getting money like a real one should I'ma take a sip, get a little lit back in a bit Meditate, I think I should No, we ain't friends, got me on 10 Well, my last video on this channel was talking about how the Winnipeg Jets need to trade a defenseman from the group they already have to open up some spots for the younger prospects. And what do they do? Well, they go out and sign a defenseman that I thought they'd be looking to ship out of town and Logan Stanley. So what's going on? Welcome back to another video here on Peg City Hockey. And you guessed it, Logan Stanley is the conversation piece for today's video because he has just been re-signed or extended by the Winnipeg Jets. Uh, one year, $1 million contract. Obviously, I do not like Logan Stanley. Don't need to go in his advanced stance because they're god-awful. A uh, man has... Never really been good. Um, that 13-point season last year and uh, two years ago in 2021, 2022, um, just a sheltered bubble season playing with Dylan DeMello. Um, wasn't good. And it just, it just was not good. Was not good in that year. Got way too many, too many opportunities, basically. I, I don't even want to talk about Logan Stanley. You guys know how much I hate Logan Stanley. The guy's a bum. The only reason he's even in the NHL is because he is six foot, what, six three or whatever with skates. It's the only reason why, because you can't teach size, apparently. Um, but at the end of the day, Logan Stanley is just a guy, he, he's not going to be on this team for the future. A first overall pick, uh, first round pick, 18th overall back in 2016. Um, my money on the big move right now is Declan Chisholm, like Murat Aitz is talking about in this tweet right here. Um, he's the next step up, and that's the guy that you should be looking to get into games next year definitely not Logan Stanley you already lost Leon Gavanke who spent years in your moose system never got an NHL opportunity and just smashed the moose's regular season record for points and uh with it as a defenseman last year and now is playing in Germany because he's got no the team had no interest in giving him an opportunity but Logan Stanley is getting contracts even though the guy's a goof and is literally just a giant out there that can barely skate and has no real worth on the ice let's be real of it so I'll, I'll, this contract pisses me off because if Logan Stanley plays for the Jets then this is just a waste of time this is a waste this is just this is just stupid this is just typical true north fashion Chevy fashion with first round pedigree no matter how shit you are you're going to get an opportunity this goes back to the Alexander Bermistrov days we lost him first round pick we had back in the Atlanta era we lost him on the move to Winnipeg and then we fought to bring him back uh, just to do nothing and be a bum back there. You know, same thing goes for uh, Smechnikov a few years ago. The Jets just have this track record. If, you, if you're a first-round pick, doesn't matter how shitty you are, we'll sign you. And that's kind of what this Logan Stanley thing feels like. So unless this is a sign-and-trade situation for Logan Stanley, uh, I, I'm not happy about this. Uh, I really, really not. Um... I just don't like it. I don't like that Logan Stanley's still on this team. I think the guy's a complete goof out there and defensive liability. Uh, one of the worst defensemen that this team has. Like, I would have much rather had Nathan Beaulieu out there playing third pairing minutes back in the day than have Logan Stanley out there. Because at least Nathan Beaulieu in the third pairing was decent. Let's not forget that. It wasn't until he was elevated. And the same thing with Logan Stanley. He has been carried by strong defensemen that the Jets have in the system in Morrissey and DeMello. Uh, and anytime you put him with Schmidt, anytime you put him with Dylan, or moved any pairings around with Logan Stanley, or God forbid, Neil Pionk, uh, he collapsed. So I don't understand why the Jets are signing him unless this is a sign and trade situation. And hopefully it is. Because like Murat saying, Declan Chisholm is definitely should be the guy next up uh, with getting a contract and should be next up coming through the system with Billy Hinola. Those are the two guys you should be bringing in. Dylan Sandberg, a stud in his first rookie season with the Jets. And Chisholm could be the exact same effect as well as Billy Hinola. We don't know. We need to see. You can't just keep giving guys like Logan Stanley opportunity to do nothing and to put uh, put up three points. Like look at that. 19 games last year compared to the 58 he had in 20. 2021 2022 the guy's a bum uh i just don't like this contract from that standpoint if he's with the team if he's gone then so be it let another team deal with that shit but uh he just not good not a good player um and i am i'm curious to see what happens with him don't want him on this team long term we'll have to wait and see what happens but yeah for the time being logan stanley has been extended by the winnipeg jets and is still a member of this team so let's see what happens going into training camp let's just hope for the best with this defensive core if they really don't trade Shifley, if they really don't trade Hellebuck and they keep the defense the way it is, trying to fight for an 8th seed again, then this franchise is more pathetic than I could ever imagine. You're in a prime spot to rebuild and retool right now with the prospects you have, and this refusal to... to, to, to it's just ridiculous. Either way, though, it's not what this video is about. So let me know your thoughts on the Logan Stanley contract. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Are you more, you know, optimistic than I am? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. As always, if you first time checking out a video here on Pig City Hockey, definitely drop me a like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already, and check out all the affiliated links down in the description below. Follow me on Twitter uh, to stay up to date with all things uh, Jets related on that platform as well. So peace, love, and positivity as always. Go Jets, go! And I'll see you guys in the next one very, very soon.